to Joshua. Now that Moses is dead, arise in the text and go over this Jordan. You and the people. Now, now, I have to be honest with you. I've read this text on more than one occasion. But for some reason, it was only when I looked at it last night that the word this and then Jordan. Arise. Pick up your stuff and cross over this Jordan which suggests there may be other. There may be other Jordans that you have to cross, but if you can cross this one, the other ones won't be so difficult. Look at your neighbor and say, cross over this one. And that's my first point this morning. It is time for you to get up and get over it. Look at somebody you haven't talked to yet and say, neighbor, this is your now moment to get up and get over it. Don't take all this dead stuff into 2004. Stop nursing these dead issues. Stop hanging around with dead folk. Stop putting in your life people that don't mean you no good. Honey, cut some strings. Turn some folk loose. Change your phone number. You got three days before to get yourself together and move out of this mess. And I don't want you to think I'm cussing. So let me preference this statement. This has been a hell of a year for a lot of folk. But now is the time. I got anybody in here to tell the truth. Honey, I done been through a lot of hell this year. But I made up my mind I ain't taking none of this mess. If you got to go, you just got to go. I got anybody here to be real honest and tell yourself I'm through with this. Look at somebody say it's over. I've come to the end and I'm getting ready to make some changes because now is the time. Clap your hands. Let me hear you praising. Sit, sit. You got to get up. And you got to get over certain things. All right, they hurt your feelings. But they hurt your feelings in March. I wouldn't give anybody that much control over me. I wouldn't even let you think you that bad. That you can mess over me and I let you keep, oh baby, I walk right by you. I wouldn't let you know it got to me that bad. I'd walk by, hey baby, hey girl, how you doing? There comes a time when you have to drop stuff. Well, you got to leave things alone. Well, you got to turn away from things. I made up my mind, I'm not carrying anything in 2004 that wasn't good for me. Friend or foe, some things will never be the way they were. Why are you living in some fantasy? Why are you pitching up dead phantoms? You're not in your 20s. Why are you acting like a spoiled brat? Get up and get... Slap three people and tell them, get up and get over it. Stop holding dead issues. Okay, you made a mistake. But you made the mistake in January. Why you let people still regurgitate your past? All right, so you made a wrong decision. You made a bad choice, but you lived through it. Why are you going to nurse it and keep on holding on to it? Okay, they disappointed you, but you lived through the
a disappointment. Make up your mind. It's going to be joy for me one way or Some anxieties and stresses we allow to be. Oh, yes, we do. The Bible is clear. As a man, as a person, thinketh, so you become. If you think it's not going to get any better, it ain't never going to get any better. If you think 2004 is not going to be any better than 2003, guess what? No matter how many opportunities come your way, because of your thought patterns, it won't be any better. But if you make up your mind, what happened to me in 2003 is just a stepping stone, just a pause, just a comma, that my best days are yet before me, there'll be no stopping you. Tell your neighbor, I can't stop now. You got to bring finality to certain situations. You got to say the end. You may have been hanging around me for the last 10 years, but it ain't been no better for me or you eat the end. How you want me to spell in? E -N. You want me to sign? Turn around, tell somebody, take control of your life. Now that Moses was dead, how long are you going to mourn for Moses? Because he's dead. He ain't never coming alive again. He's dead. So either you can go on with your life, look for the next level of maturity in God, Find out what God has already planned and purposed for your life. Or you can live in Moses' dreams. Lord have mercy. I've already started to plan 2004 with God in mind. What you going to do in January, God? What you going to do in February? How you want to handle March, April, May? Because by the time I get to June, I'm going to be on a roll that the devil can't stop. Joshua could have sat down and considered his tasks too great. He could have sat down and started brewing over what kind of a leader Moses was. Well, Moses brought him out of here too. Moses was the great deliverer. Moses turned the water to blood. Lord Moses. <gasps> he was able to pick himself up to get up and go on because of verse number five. Listen to verse number five. This is God, God talking to Joshua. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of your life. Can you imagine having a conversation with God and God said hey there is no one in all the world who could do anything to you and if they try to I'm going to get them see y'all don't believe it can happen to you but I believe God ain't got no respect to person. And whatever he said to Joshua, oh, y'all don't want to believe it. He can say the same thing to me. He said there ain't a man living that can do anything to you. He said, listen, not just 2004. He told you, it's in the Bible. He told you, all the days of your life. 